Hi, if you're interested in Bluffton, South Carolina, I'm going to do a walk down Calhoun Street and we're going to stop, take a look at some shops, some art galleries, restaurants, and we're just going to talk about the growth of Bluffton, South Carolina. Stay tuned. My name is John Weber. I'm a licensed real estate broker in Bluffton, South Carolina. And it's early in the morning on a summer day, just gorgeous here. And I'm gonna walk up uh, uh, Calhoun Street, which is the main drag that leads all the way down to the May River, goes all the way up to uh, Old Town Bluffton. I'm right in front of Church of the Cross, which is the historic church. I, uh, this church is in some of my videos. Literally, there were Union soldiers in here during the Civil War. Uh, they burned Bluffton down, but they didn't burn this church. And uh, we're just going to talk some history, so stay tuned. I know this is the low country, but we are up high here looking down at the May River, which is a major river here. And it's really the view from the bluff looking down on the river. And uh, low country, sure, I mean, super low, but here you're on a bluff looking out there early in the morning, just gorgeous. So there's so many really cool small little parks. This is directly across the street from the church. And I would say it's newer within a couple of years. But you know, you have these beautiful open spaces that people can come down here, sit, um, relax, walk around. And this is right on the bluff next to the church. Hey, you're off. Anyway, I'm at the May River Excursions. We've got several excursion companies in uh, Hilton Head, uh, Bluffton, and you can come in here and get all your gear. If you want to go um, uh, kayaking, they'll take you out fishing. Uh, they'll take you on a guided tour, all kinds of things. So you see these type of shops. I'm just a maybe 200 yards from the bluff where I was before. And if you look this way, you can see some of the architecture of some of these buildings with the large porches, which is just really pretty um, early in the morning with the sun. On Dantel, brand new lingerie store right here on the corner, uh, independently owned business. On Dantel, I was in there the other day checking out the lingerie and it means bits of lace in French. So another video, another day, I was in the lingerie business back in early 80s. It's a good story. We'll talk about that in another video. Ocon, brand new restaurant here in Old Town Bluffton. So happy to see this because it's really becoming kind of a foodie town. And you know we're foodies, but this is a West African Caribbean restaurant. We've eaten in here a couple of times. It's great. And what's really cool is the chef, hang on, Chef Bernard Bennett is a semi-finalist in the James Beard Emerging Chef category. I mean, James Beard is like the highest levels of culinary awards. And just the food's fantastic. So if you get a chance, this is really good right here. And it's right here on the main drag of Calhoun Street. It's awesome. If you just follow me over here for one second, there's a brand new store here. This is a men and ladies store, Jay Parker, right here. They have a store in Savannah, um, but I'm sure they're doing quite well because it's a nice retail store. And it's taking up this space down here as well.
May River Montessori School right here across the street from the retail and the restaurants. Uh, looks like just a homegrown little building right here, but it is the Montessori School. Uh, across the street here, this is a pretty cute sign. If my camera person can follow me. Come on, dear. But this is pretty neat. We have signs like this all over the place, which is great. Just directional signs, kind of low country look to it. Really pretty. This has been other, other videos. Super popular restaurant. The, the company that has the pearl also has uh, Ella's, Ella's in uh, Hilton Head on uh, Shelter Cove in the marina there. And they opened a brand new restaurant called Celeste, which is on the north end of the island. Brand new, very, very good. But the Pearl's a great spot. You can sit out here at the tables. People drive by in their golf carts. It's pretty cool. And across the way over here, this is like, if there was ever an old South Carolina building, this would be it. The store. People, people have taken pictures of this and they paint it and they sell it because it's so unique. So it's pretty cool. Old Town Dispensary. Super popular. They have a band here a lot of times. Uh, people sit out here and have their dinner. I mean, it's super casual but a fun place, kind of tucked in the little back here. They used to have the farmer's market just right up here. They changed the location, but they have the farmer's market in Bluffton every Thursday between like 10 and 2. All the local farmers bring in their, uh, their produce and things like that, so we shop there quite a bit. But this is a popular place. Cottage restaurant, great place for uh, breakfast or brunch. Super, super... Uh, uh, popular. People sit out here on the porch. Recommend the cottage, uh, like I said, for breakfast or brunch. It's really good. Spartina, right next to the cottage, this actually started on Defusky Island and they've got stores in some various places. So started in Defusky Island, very, very nice. Spartina, super nice place. Highly recommend that. Pluff Mud, for those of you who don't know what it is besides a gallery. Pluff Mud is in the marsh when the tide comes up and the tide goes out. It looks like you've got just mud sitting there and you hear this popping sound. Uh, a lot of birds come in for shells and things like that. It's a whole ecosystem. But Pluff Mud is, <laughs> what a name, right? And this is uh, Pluff Mud Gallery. It says, once again, voted number one gallery. I don't know. I don't know who's voting. I don't really know anything about that. But it is a very typical, cute uh, gallery that you find all, all through Old Town Bluffton, these eclectic galleries. Uh, people come down here and they pick up a little souvenir of the low country. So, been a while since I've done this. Lots of parks, lots of parks here in Old Town Bluffton. You can see by the open spaces, this particular park has something for children and you can see through the trees, another uh, retail store through there, this whole look of uniqueness to Old Town Bluffton. Okay. So this is all brand new. It's very similar to that corner that was earlier in the video, uh, Ocon, the restaurant. All of this is new. Boutique right here, coming down. We're on Church Street right now. By the way, speaking of church, all denominations. There's a lot of churches down here, all denominations. So this is a, uh, a gallery right here. We finally made our way to the promenade in Bluffton, up Calhoun Street. So I thought I'd show you uh, the Bluffton barbecue. And it's kind of interesting. It's kind of a mainstay here in Bluffton. Uh, every single day, I mean, it's early now, but every day they'll put a sign on the door here 
If it's no, they don't have any barbecue. If it's yes, they've got it. So it's kind of funny. Anyway, um, coming this way, you can get to see, you see a lot of golf carts around here. You can um, ride a golf cart in Bluffton, as I've said, but looking down that street right there, you, once again, you see the same architecture. These are as gifts. You've got design stores, you have attorneys, you've got all kinds of stuff up here. Um, it just goes on and on this way. Another street right here in the promenade. This is brand new uh, restaurant right here, brand new. And you've also got, um, this is another brand new store right here. And you have a store called Monkeys, which has Louis Vuitton in it and some nice uh, ladies designer wear and it's super busy. Um, all brand new. So the retail establishments are coming here because they know that people are here and they buy stuff and it's all in the numbers. But Monkey's is a popular spot as well. Calhoun Street Tavern, busy place. Not really on my restaurant list only because we have more, I guess, unique type of things. But this is a great little tavern to get a sandwich and a beer or a drink. They also, uh, This is a great little spot here, kind of a hopping place for Calhoun's people in here uh, with the outdoor bar, pretty neat. Looks a little bit like Key West right there. And here is Jay McLaughlin. You might know this brand. It's a pretty big national brand. And uh, this is a cute store. And to me, uh, seeing one of the, the big stores coming into Bluffton it's a signal that more will be coming. So, but this is the first big brand that I've seen, uh, but very popular ladies store and men's, same thing. This is a brand new store called Kelly Carone Curated right here. This is new within, I don't know, maybe six, nine months. Big time designer, uh, uh, really, really beautiful store and quite unique with the flowers on the outside but um, does very, very well here. And like I said, she is a, uh, you know, a big designer. So that's it. I'm all the way up Calhoun Street. I'm in the promenade, Bluffton, stopping at Charter One. There are other real estate companies, but I'm not gonna put them on film. This is our company, my video. Anyway, please consider subscribing to the video if you like this type of information. I put a video out every week about the culture and the lifestyle of the low country, and we're always exploring things. We mix in real estate, we talk about the area, Hilton Head, Bluffton, Hardyville. The whole area is just growing like crazy. Um, consider subscribing, and please give us a call. I, as I say in other videos, we have people that uh, I run into and they've seen the videos and they've called another realtor to buy real estate. So we are in the commission business. So I have a great team in place. We're here to service you, help you. We're experienced and uh, we're, oh, by the way, full-time realtors. So anyway, come and see us, Charter One Realty, the John Weber team will find your dream home.
Personal regret 